Hello guys, Craig Frost here again with another Juicy Tuts tutorial. This is part two in the After Effects training video series. So if you didn't see the first video in this series, which was just the introduction to the interface, make sure you go and watch that now. There'll probably be a link in the description or on screen if I remember to do it or anything like that. But you can just find it on the channel if not. So this is part two. We're back to where we were in the last video at the end. And now we're going to be looking at some more fun stuff. How to apply effects, which is basically what you want to do in After Effects. The clue is in the name, like effects. Don't know what the after bit is for. But anyway, you want to apply effects to your footage and that's why you have it in After Effects. If you wanted basic editing, you would just do it in Premiere or something like that. So we have the same footage of this bride walking down the corridor. It's a slight slider movement out and um, it looks nice, but maybe we want to apply some effects to it, some filters maybe. So for that, we can come up to effects at the top here. And then we have all these list of effects that are installed. You can install plugins like I have the Magic Bullet um, pack here from Red Giant as well. And some Video Copilot um, plugins as well. But a lot of them come with After Effects. Like if we come into Blur and we put something on here like, I don't know what kind of Blur. We can put a Gaussian Blur on the footage. So you click that. And now you notice this new window came up here next to Project. So we had our project tab, there's now an effects tab. That's um, related to whichever video clip you have clicked at the bottom. So if I had multiple video layers, I'd select the layer I wanted and then it will show the effects applied to that layer. Okay, so rather than like in Photoshop where you have adjustment layers, you can have adjustment layers on here as well, but each video track, each layer has its own unique effects applied to it, which you can get to in the effects control. So here you can control each of the effects. So we've applied a blur. Um, so you can change the parameters of each effect in here so we can up the blurriness just by sliding it like this. And you'll notice the footage is getting more and more blurry. Okay, and obviously we can take that down. You can, you can apply new effects as well. So maybe we can go up to, um, oh, I don't know, effect, color correction, um, color balance, which is like your hue and saturation. So we can change the hue of the footage. Um, we can change the lightness of it. We can change the saturation, maybe desaturate it. We can fully desaturate it and add a bit of a blur to it. There you go. Um, so this is how you control it. And also it's, it's worth mentioning that effects work in the order they're placed. So we apply Gaussian Blur. So Gaussian Blur is applied to the footage first and then the color balance is applied to the footage with the Gaussian Blur on. Now this probably won't make much difference if the order changes here on the footage. But if you were using something else where the layer is affecting the layer below it, for example, then you want to make sure you keep, you keep those effects in the right order. Okay, so uh, we also have a popular one, which is, let's just delete these. You can just highlight them and press delete or backspace. Another popular one is the color correction curves. So this is how you can um, change the contrast in your footage. Uh, you can also change the color of the red channel. It's just like in Photoshop. So we can apply, I don't know, some sort of Instagrammy effect there. But you get the idea and that's how the effects work. We also have the effects and presets panel over here on the right, which is where you can sort through all the kind of effects that you have um, installed. It's basically the same as the effects tab up here, only it has a search box and um, just drop down things like this. They're, they're, they're presets that are made. So, um, but you can also find the plugins that we've just used. So that's how to apply effects to a piece of footage and of course then if we come back to project and put another piece of footage in there that's not affect oh I've put the same one in whoops if we put a totally different clip in that's not affected by the um the the, le the effects that we've put on the video before not only because it's above it but if this video was above that the effects still do not affect the layer below it because the effects are unique to the layer it's applied to okay we can go in and add a new adjustment layer just like in Photoshop and then any effects that we apply to this adjustment layer will affect everything below it 
in the timeline and not everything above it, just like in Photoshop. So that's just um, one key difference to get in your mind that when you apply effects to a piece of footage, it doesn't affect any other thing in the timeline. Okay, so you can also, from if we were adding something from this side panel, you can just, uh, you can just, let's pick one. I don't know, color balance. We've already done color balance, haven't we? Uh, let's do hue and saturation again. You can just drag it into the effects control on the left and um, go from there. So there you go again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like these, this tutorial series is being a bit rushed. I feel like I haven't prepared enough. Sorry about that. So we'll go back to the original footage we had and we'll remove any effects that we have on there. So it's back to normal. One other kind of thing. So these were filters we were applying on there. You have more generation effects. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So in stylize, you have things that come with with the um, After Effects. Sorry, my phone was going off there. I thought I was going to get a phone call. Hmm. So what was I talking about? Yeah, generation effects. So you have these other um, effects that you can uh, add on to your footage, which aren't filters, but they affect the footage in a different way. Let me try and show you what I mean. So if I use mosaic, it will actually change the footage to a mosaic and you can change the parameters. It's kind of like when you do a blur, blur someone's head out or something like that. We'll get to that later. But you have these simulation ones as well. So if we did scatterize and we applied that to the footage, it would actually scatter the footage. You see, so it's made like loads of different particles out of the footage. I've actually gone quite a long way with that. Um, so it just kind of scatters the footage and you can rotate the twist of the footage. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I haven't really used this one much, but you get the idea. So if I just turn this preview down to thirds, it's a bit faster. You see that it's actually like wrapping the footage around and that's an effect as well applied in the effects panel. But of course, this isn't really a filter. This is actually manipulating the footage itself. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind. Anyway, I think that's probably about it for this tutorial. Sorry it wasn't very smooth, but you get the idea of where effects are and how to apply them. And uh, I don't know what we'll do in the next video. Maybe we'll get onto animating because you can actually control these effects with keyframes and animate them and all this kind of stuff, which automates the, uh, the animating process, which is of course what you want to do in After Effects. So thanks for watching. Sorry again about the quality of these videos. I hope someone can follow them. So tune in for part three. If you haven't seen part one yet, you've watched part two. It's a bit weird because you're out of order, but go and watch it anyway. Give the video a like again. If you just feel sorry for me struggling here, trying to make tutorials, not really planning them. Anyway, a like would, would be appreciated. It helps me out. Comment as well. If you want to um, make a comment, but be nice. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos, because there will be more in this series coming up. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm going to probably go cry in a hole somewhere. Alright, bye.